This is not the first time that Turkey is doing similar things. Turkey has occupied many other countries, like in uh, Syria, uh, north uh, um, east of Syria, which we call Rojava, and also Cyprus many years ago. And they're still occupying that land. And uh, now they're trying to um, occupy the southern Kurdistan, which we call Bashur Kurdistan. And this is different with the other previous Turkish operations in southern Kurdistan because this time Turkey has deployed over 300 tanks there. And tanks is not for the fighting in mountains. This is a pure sign of occupations of the southern Kurdistan. And uh, Turkey is now start checking um, the Iraqi citizens' um, IDs when they're crossing the roads. And this is like breach of the international uh, law and this is a big worry and uh, secondly you know the worldwide uh, media is being really uh, quiet about it and not seeing what Turkey is doing there um, obviously um, you know it's impacting them people's living they have destroyed almost uh, uh, you know the Kurdish um, uh, forest and um, you know uh, breaking, cutting down the trees and, uh, you know, emptying the villages. And this is what the situation is happening there. So many uh, civilians have been killed too. What is the Kurdistan regional government doing about it? Um, well, um, when we talk about the Kurdistan regional government, it's basically, uh, it runs by one party or one family. It's called Barzani family. And even within the KDP, not everybody's in the same view of the Barzani's families of uh, cooperating with the um, uh, Turkish army. Um, they basically, you know, there is no way that Turkey understands the Kurdistan geographical area, regardless of if they have a technology, they have drones or whatever you have. But it's really purely if there was no Barzani's helping them, they will not be able to. And make their way to Kurdish mountains. So um, we blame Barzani. Unfortunately, uh, they've been cooperating with the Turkish and uh, with the ruling party of AKB and MHP, which are the fascist and um, you know uh, racist uh, parties in Turkey. Have the people of Bashur um, held demonstrations against this collaboration? Well, uh, yes, they have, and uh, but not in a huge scale. The reason is being controlled by the KDP, and they control. And uh, there was um, a protest by people in Omedia. They uh, blocked the um, roads with their cars and you know whatever trucks they had. And they um, have, at that instance, they captured uh, the protesters. They moved them, and some of them been jailed, and actually, you know, a few journalists also been jailed because they didn't want to news to uh, leak to um, or Western media. What is the federation uh, asking the Australian government to do about this? Well, as the federations, uh, this is not the question about the Kurds. There's also a question about the sovereignty of uh, other states, and if this is allowed. And, you know, if we have not allowed the Russian to occupy or crime, if we have stopped similar things in the world, this will not happen. The war is not the answer. There always a, a dialogue is there. With living in 21st century, I think the dialogue and negotiations must be on the table rather than war and weapon. And who is making money out of the weapons and, you know, all these wars, we know who they are you know, the, the rulers, but the poor people, civilian people from both sides get killed. In this instance, the Kurds and the Turks. And the Iraqis people who actually have nothing to do with this. The Australian government could put the pressure on Turkey and, you know, uh, um, um, request a response through the Turkish uh, embassy and request the Turkish governments to stop this um, invasion of the uh, in Kurdish land in Bashur and Rojava and uh, having a peace process going which that was in 2015 which both the Kurds and Turks were living in peacefully with no war, no, no one's get killed and it was a peaceful thing moment but the Turkish government or Erdogan did not see that advantaging him 
for uh, elections. So he basically denied all the talks and, you know, basically there's no the discussion of peace between uh, Kurds or PKK and the governments. And we like to have the Australian uh, to be a mediating this, to, to be uh, facilitating this kind of uh, discussion as Australia was involved in this Timor's peace. So it's quite important that Australia have a bigger role to play and um, yeah, and also, you know, um, you know, if Australians in selling arms to these countries, they should must consider and Australians should warn their citizens and uh, not to go to Turkey because this uh, spending this money is um, goes by Turkey to buy a weapon to killing other peoples.